And Todd Bowles, please. This guy's got to go. He has the same face. Through pain or happiness, he has the same face. He has that same pale, blank, emotionless face. He just looks lost. This is the guy that, as a Jet fan, I'm supposed to believe is going to take us. One day, he's going to take us to the promised land. And he's going to develop Sam Darnold. And he's going to develop this team. And he's going to win with them. As a Jet fan, I'm supposed to believe that. No. I was born at night, but not last night. This guy's an idiot. He's got to go. You see him on Thursday night? Clock management, horrible. Coaching style, horrible. Motivational, nah. I see none of those things in Todd Bowles. None. Zero. He's got to go. I don't care. I don't care who it is. I don't care if it's Fireman Ed. I don't care if it's Ray Lucas. It could be anybody. I don't care. I know you have to have a plan before you fire a coach. He's got to go. Todd Bowles has got to get the hell out of here. I can't stomach looking at him on the sidelines much longer. Please, for the love of God, get him out. I can't do it. He has no clue. Zero clue. Zero. Z-E-R-O. Zero clue. Tired of this Jet team, man. Tired of it. Tired of them sucking so bad. Of course, they would They would be. The Jets would be the ones to lose to the freaking Browns. The Jets would be the ones to do that. I've said it all along. Being a Cleveland Browns fan is so much better than being a Jet fan. You're not in New York. You never have any expectations. Because the Jets, listen, the Jets will always suck. The Jets will, I, I'm convinced that I will die and I'll never see a Jets championship. I'm just convinced about that. I'm convinced that I will never see a Jets title. I will die and I will never see a Jets championship. That's what's going to happen. I am going to pass out dead and never see a Jets championship. But they tease you. They tease you every single year. 